channel thank you for being here if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet please subscribe right now here's why you should subscribe to my channel I discuss intimate issues that affect us as a society and as mankind I discuss issues that you will appreciate that somebody's actually talking about I also do reviews on herbal medicine and herbal therapies that one can use to heal the body or boost one's immune system. I focus on herbal therapies that I've used personally, so you'll be getting first-hand feedback. And yes, I am an astrologer. I bring you astrology in a simple way that you can understand and use the guidance to make better decisions in your everyday life. So go ahead and explore my channel, watch my other videos and see if you can find something that you may like. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel so that I can continue bringing you all this free content. Moving on to our topic. I'm going to be talking about Venus retrograde and the effect it will have on all 12 zodiac signs. I will discuss how it will affect your individual horoscope at the end of the video, so stay tuned. In order for this discussion to make sense, you must listen to the introduction. I want you to understand this video, so please go to astro.com to get your free natal birth chart so that you can follow along. I always use the ascendant in my readings. But you must listen to your moon sign to find out how this transit will affect you emotionally. Since we are talking about Venus, maybe you should listen to all three. Your sun sign, your moon sign, and your ascendant. Fated relationships will begin, return, or end, or renegotiate. Are you ready? I will talk about the specific aspects Venus will make to other planets when I start doing weekly videos. This video will give you a foundational understanding of the entire Venus retrograde transit and its effects on all the 12 zodiac signs. While in transit, Venus will make two harmonious aspects. One is called a sextile and the other one is called a trine. This will smooth things out in your air sign houses and your fire sign houses. Venus got activated at the Libra full moon on the 7th of April and then again at the Taurus new moon on the 22nd of April. This will intensify the Venus transit starting May through August. Venus retrograde shadow began on the 9th of April 2020 at 5 degrees Gemini. The actual retrograde will begin on the 13th of May 2020 at 20 degrees of Gemini. Look to see if you have any planets between those degrees. Venus will cross those planets three times. Venus retrogrades in the same sign every eight years. The last time it was retrograde in Gemini was in 2012. I'm going to ask you to see if you can remember what happened in uh, 2012. Did a lover come back? Did a situation from the past resurface? We do this so that we can compare if there's any similarities with what could possibly happen during this Venus retrograde cycle this year. However, the astrology has been very different from the last time it was in Gemini. This year, we have the Cancer South, uh, North Node and the Capricorn South Node. Capricorn South Node has conjunctions of karmic planets which have been opposing the Cancer North Node, making life in our home and our work area very challenging. Karmic nodes are the North Nodes of the Moon and the South Nodes of the Moon. They're also known as Rahu and Ketu in Vedic astrology. These points cause eclipses. They're going to be moving into Gemini on the 5th of May, 2020. So this makes the Venus retrograde cycle caught in between an eclipse cycle. This will make the transit very fated and very karmic. So whatever is going to end 
during a Venus retrograde cycle in between eclipses should just be left alone. If a relationship happens to end in this period, just walk away. When something is taken out by an eclipse, it cannot be repaired. Let's evaluate the nodes where they are right now. Cancer rules our home, our, our, our home, our ancestors, our mother, our emotions, and the south node in Capricorn is the natural 10th house. It rules our work, authority figures, the government, and what we do for work. Essentially, what we're, how we're seen by the public truly forced us to go home. Cancer north node, where we must go. Our government structures, old structures, our jobs, our work, how we're seen in society has been completely destroyed or restructured. And that is the Capricorn South Node where we must let go. So Venus retrograde transit is going to literally feel like a tornado has just hit through our homes and our job. And we're sitting at the aftermath trying to pick through the remains evaluating what's worth keeping and what's not worth keeping. We're going to carry this concept with our relationships and our marriage or long-term relationships. We're going to be reevaluating if they're still worth staying in or if we actually do like the family that we've created. Some people are going to walk away from their homes, their families or their jobs. The tables are going to totally turn. As we speak, um, the, the nodes are at zero degrees, and zero degrees is a very karmic point. Um, zero degrees cancer is going to feel like we've been stuck underwater, swimming, trying to go upstream, and we start to see bubbles. We're feeling the air coming up. And because the nodes go backwards, and they're going to go into Gemini. Gemini is the air. So it's like we're coming up for air and we're all of a sudden going to remember where we're going or what we want or what we love and value. It's not going to be the same. For some people, depending on the astrology in your natal chart, some people are actually going to really see the true value and the love in the home, um, and they're going to keep that or restructure it in some way, but they're going to keep that. For most of us, we are going to walk away because when the nodes are involved, we start feeling, I'm talking about the nodes because we start feeling the energy of the eclipses a month before the event or a month after the event. So we have the eclipse energy in the air. So we can definitely, we, we, we cannot just judge Venus retrograde cycle by itself. Let me stop talking about the nodes. I'll make a separate video when um, the nodes move into Gemini. And I also noticed actually before I leave that subject that the nodes are actually moving into Gemini around the 5th of May which coincides with them when they're going to relax social distancing. And um, Gemini likes to flirt, likes to be around, talk to people. So we are literally going to feel like we're coming up for air. So that analogy was quite on point. Um, I'm going to refer to my notes so that I don't miss out anybody. Um, the people with the following sign placements will be affected the most. If you're a Sagittarius, um, Venus is going to go retrograde on your descendant. Your descendant is your Gemini house. So that's your relationship, committed relationships, marriage, partnerships, all of that. So that's going to be under re-evaluation or some situations from the past will, you know, resurface. Um, if your natal Venus is in Gemini, you're going to be experiencing what we call a Venus return. If you have your natal Venus already retrograde, you're probably more accustomed to this energy. So the transit will be a lot easier for you. If you're a Taurus or a Libra, you're ruled by Venus. So whatever Venus does in the horoscope is always going to affect you. If you're a Scorpio or Aries um, rising, that means Venus rules your relationship sector. 
it, it, it's not where it's retrograde, it's just that it rules it. All the houses that are ruled by Venus or where she sits are going to be affected somehow by this retrograde transit. If if the loy is Venus, that is the lord of the year, basically that Venus is ruling you for the whole year, that's in Hellenistic astrology, your Venus got activated. If your Mahadasha ruler, that is your Mahadasha period, that's in Vedic astrology, is Venus, your Venus got activated. If Venus rules your solar return ascendant for the year, you are definitely going to feel um, some kind of experience from this um, Venus retrograde. And if your birthday is on May the 13th or around there, you're going to have this Venus um, retrograde energy for your whole solar return chart, for the whole solar return year. Let's look at what Venus um, means or rules in astrology. It rules love, what we value. Let's evaluate what Venus rules in astrology. Venus rules love, money, what we value, our self-esteem. It also rules beauty your face and the family that we create not the family that you're born into the family that you create with a partner or your friends that become really close and you start to call them family in a man's chart venus rules the wife the ruler of gemini is mercury so therefore we have to look at what mercury rules in astrology it rules communication the internet our siblings our immediate environment and our efforts. It also rules um, how we travel, car, and computers. To talk about some of the things you should avoid doing or committing to during a Venus retrograde transit. These are merely suggestions, so please use your own intuition. Don't get married during a Venus retrograde transit. Don't do it. Your marriage is going to lose value very quickly. It's going to lose lack love. Don't start a new relationship in a Venus retrograde transit. Your bull may not tell you the absolute truth about himself. He might be already married, or he could be into alternative sexual lifestyles that you may not approve of, or you may have major differences in um, core values, or he might just totally be broke and trying to get your money. <laughs> um... Don't start a new business venture during this transit. You may not have all the information that you need. Just do the research and if you still want to do this business venture, do it after Venus goes forward. Here's a very common one. Don't do plastic surgery during a Venus retrograde transit. Don't do lip injections, don't do Botox, don't do facial surgery, or you might end up looking like this. <laughs> All those people you see walking around looking like that probably did their surgery during a Venus retrograde transit. You can't say I didn't warn you. It just never goes right. Wait until this transit is out of the way if you have to do any type of surgery. Don't get a tattoo don't do it. It's very difficult to work over or remove a tattoo. Hmm. Here, a relationship with a sibling or a childhood friend. It's also a perfect time to go for a walk and rediscover your neighborhood. You just never know who you might meet. And if you do meet someone, instead of texting them, call them. This is a perfect time to do voice calls because people are lonely now and Honestly, the window to the soul, to someone's soul, is in their voice. So you actually get further with a voice call and it will be greatly appreciated during quarantine time. It's a perfect time to start online dating, so check some um, dating websites. If you have something of value that you would like to sell, this is a perfect time because people are not seeing the true value of things. So people are more likely to overpay for things and then realize they got duped after the transit. So if you have things you want to get rid of, this is a perfect time. 
But if you're on the receiving end, also know that if you buy something of value at this time, you might, you might not be seeing the value clearly and you'll probably regret it. So don't say I didn't warn you. It's a shyster move to try and, you know, get over on people when they're not seeing things clearly. But apparently this is the kind of world we live in now or have always lived in. Perhaps you lost something of value and you would like to find it. You lost it in your house, perhaps a, a diamond ring or a necklace. If you look for it now, whenever planets go retrograde, especially Venus, which rules things that we value, you possibly might just possibly find it now. It's a great time to buy antiques. Like I said, people are not seeing the value of things clearly. They just want to probably move, move out of their house and get rid of things. So they'll just give give things away for really, really um, under, they'll undervalue their, uh, they will undervalue their items. So it's a great time to take advantage of that. Since Venus rules love and money, old lovers are very likely to come back into your life to either restart a relationship or just come back for closure. Or maybe the current quarantine will just have people thinking of their old lover and, you know, thinking, should they reignite the relationship? Um, during quarantine, with what we're going through, honestly, it's very hard to start knowing somebody totally brand new. So I do see a lot of people going back to their former lovers. Um, even if it just serves the, the purpose for now, most people are going to think it's a lot safer to go back to someone who you know and understand or, or already know how they behave socially than try to meet somebody totally brand new. But I must warn you, if you're going back to somebody who punched you in the face, tried to stab you, cheated on you or abused you, it might not be a good idea to do that because you're probably going to um, get the same thing. <laughs> it doesn't take a psychic to tell you don't go back to that type of relationship. But if you're involved in a relationship where you just had some minor misunderstanding or difference of values or things just went wrong from somewhere, this is actually a great time to try and repair that relationship. Just stay away from people who are abusive. Basically, retrograde transit are excellent for doing anything that starts with RE. Retouch, relax, redo, revive, restart, restore, etc. Venus retrograde in Gemini, the sign that also rules trade and negotiations, will have us getting money from the government. Most people started getting the extra 600 with the unemployment payments around the time Venus went into shadow on April 9th, 2020. The government says it will pay, pay us this extra money for four months. That is around the time Venus um, moves out of Gemini. Happy money returns. This is astrology at work for us. Since Venus also rules love, money and old lovers are very likely to return. Oh, I already said that. Information may sound challenging and complicated for the average listener. If you'd like to know how this transit will affect you personally, please book a reading with me at rachel-mayo.com. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel so that I can continue bringing you more free content. I'm now going to move on to the rising and moon signs. If you don't see your rising or moon sign today, please come back tomorrow or the next day to see if it's been uploaded. This is rising or Pisces moon. Venus will retrograde in your fourth house of Gemini. The fourth house rules over your mother, your emotions, your home, your ancestors and your childhood. You may return to your childhood home to quarantine or take care of your mother. Old unresolved emotional or psychological issues may resurface for you to deal with. You may find an old ancestor. On the lighter side, you may redecorate your house or renovate. Just wait until the retrograde transit is over before you commit to any big purchases. 
Venus will make a harmonious aspect to your Libra 8th house. This aspect is called a trine. It will allow energy to flow easily. You can use this energy to to address your hidden psychological issues through therapy. You can make major breakthroughs at this time. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel so that I can continue bringing you more free content. Thank you.